Over many months and years of use, your computer will have old extraneous files that are no longer needed. These old files can slow down your computer, affecting its performance. Windows has an optimization tool for cleaning out these old unused files, but there are many free and commercial programs available to clean your computer drives that actually do a better job than the Windows tool. One of the best and free drive cleaners is Wise Disk Cleaner. Let's take a look at it. Hi, Dennis Ray here. When I retired, I needed a hobby. It was either make my own Frankenstein monster or make YouTube videos. I tried it, but the monster theme didn't work out. So here I am. Please like and comment below, subscribe and hit the bell to be notified of new videos. Thank you. This is the interface for Wise Disk Cleaner. And these are the tabs that you'll see. Uh, common Cleaner, Advanced Cleaner, Slimming System, Disk Defrag. And below that there's the scan bar. We'll take a look at that in a little while. But down below that it will show you what it will clean out of your computer. So Files and Computer. And Windows System. And if you hit the arrow you can see what it will clean and everything that's checked is checked by default you can deselect those or select them as you see fit and uh, if you hit this square it will check everything down below it then there is web browser cache uh, everything in that is selected and other applications Traces in computer, or in other words, uh, reports of files. And we'll clean those out. And we have Windows and Application Traces. And uh, Web Browser Trace. Windows Components. And Cookies. And I don't have this selected because I want the browsers to save all my passwords. And now we can look at scan. If we hit this, it will start the cleaning action. And it doesn't take long at all. Okay, got, uh, wow, 21,104 files. A total of 1.84 gigabytes were found. 11,006 traces found. Oh, clean. You'll notice that it has this information on the side of each of those categories too. Okay, they've been cleaned out. On the bottom we have these selections. Uh, right now all the selections are on recommended, the default settings. And you can select all of them, or none, or the recommended. You can tell why is Disk Cleaner to run automatically, and you do that by going to the right side here. And uh, there's a scheduler, include advanced cleaner, and we'll talk about advanced cleaner in a little while. Uh, down below that, select Run Type, and this is where you can tell it how often or when it should run. Select Date, either the day or the days you want it to run, and the time you want it to run, and this is in the 24-hour time schedule. And when you have all your settings just the way you want them, and go back up here and turn it on and it'll run automatically when you want it to run next we're going to look at the advanced cleaner tab in this uh, we have a selection where you can tell it which hard drive you want it to scan and in my case I just have one hard drive drive C and below there is advanced settings this window shows you the file types that will clean out. 
And just like in the common cleaner tab, we have recommend it, select all, or select none. Then if there's a file type that I don't see listed there, I can add it. If I go to the add bar, hit that. And uh, just for an example, I'll put in uh, .wdc. Okay. And then put in a description. In this case, I'll just put in test. And there it is. Now I'll say I want to remove any file types that I edit. I select that and hit remove and it's gone. Now we're ready to scan. Now we hit the scan bar and this should not take long. Just a few seconds and there we are. And uh, ooh, there's a lot there. So we see a lot of green check marks which is good because those are the ones that are okay to be deleted. If we saw any yellow exclamation marks, that means that those may not be good to delete. If you see blue exclamation marks, those are files that were added by the user. If you go to one of the files and right click on it, you'll see some selections. Uh, for instance, if you hit ignore this item, this file type will be put on the exclude list so that when you do a scan in the future, it'll look it will exclude that particular file type. And select all is self-explanatory, select none, invert selection, open containing folder, all self-explanatory, export to, if you hit this, then it will export a, or make a list of the scan results in a text file, which you can save on your PC. At this point, you hit the clean bar. I'm not doing that right now. In fact, I never use the advanced cleaner, only the common cleaner. I also use C Cleaner, which is another really nice drive cleaner in conjunction with Wise Disk Cleaner. I did a video about C Cleaner, and there's a link for it in the description below. I found that C Cleaner cleans out files that Wise Disk Common Cleaner doesn't clean. And that wise disk cleaner cleans out files that C Cleaner doesn't clean. Next is the slimming system tab. And in it, it found six items on my computer that could be removed. Uh, then it has a item size, location, and then whether to remove or optional as a suggestion. And these two, uh, Windows Download Installation Files and Windows Installer Baseline Cache. These would be good to remove. Uh, there is a Japanese IME and Korean IME. What IMEs are, are uh, input method editors, a way to enter Asian characters through the keyboard. So these I don't think I'd ever use, so I could remove those. And then there's help files for Windows. And I would probably keep these and wallpaper files for Windows. I would keep that. But you can see that you can select what you want by putting checks by them and then hitting remove. Next is the disk defrag tab. And in this, you would put a check mark by the drive that you want to defrag, like I just have C drive. And uh, down here, analyze, it has a down arrow for menu for defrag, quick optimization, full optimization. And then over here it has this color scheme of the different squares that will appear in this area once you do a analyze and defrag. And then you can put a check mark here so that will automatically shut down when it's done defragging. Um, let's do an analyzation. So we hit that, and while it's doing that, let me give you some more information about defragging. Uh, to tell you the truth, there are better free defrag programs available, either IOBit Smart Defrag or Free Purin Defrag. And I did videos about both of them, and there are links in the description below for them. You should only use defrag on hard drives, never on solid state drives or SSD drives, because 
Over time, defragging can cause damage and shorten the lifespan of the SSD. And uh, for SSDs, you can use a trim function, which uh, some defrag programs, both free and commercial, come with. And uh, the IOBit Smart Defrag program does have a trim function with it. Well, let's see what we got here. Uh, everything in green is a file that's good to go. Everything in yellow is a system file, so it's not going to do anything with those. And everything in red are fragments need to be defragged. But I'm not going to defrag this because I have a uh, uh, solid state drive, so I don't want to harm it with this. So we'll just leave it the way it is, and you can try this on your computer and see how it works out for you. Up on top, there's an area for messages, suggestion and feedback, and a menu with online help, forum, home page, contact us, create a portable version. Nice. Check for updates, settings, and in the general tab, there is create a system restore point before slimming system, very important. Auto run, and the exclusion list that we talked about before. Custom to customize your scanning rules. Okay, and then there is restore. Languages, change skin. You can change the color to, well, from default to gray, orange, or make your own. Yep. Nice. This is where you get Wise Disk Cleaner, and I'll put a link for this website in the description below. And uh, down below there are these tabs, features, user guide, reference, reviews. Uh, in the features tab, there's all this information about Wise Disk Cleaner. And there's this tab or this bar to download Wise Disk Cleaner. You hit that, and once you have the app, you can double click it to start the install process. Uh, it may ask you if you want to install Wise Care 365, which is the app that Wise Disk Cleaner is a part of, but it's your choice. Uh, Wise Care 365 is a good suite of optimization tools, but Wise Disk Cleaner is a great app by itself. That was Wise Disk Cleaner, an excellent drive cleaner. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like and comment below. Subscribe and hit the bell to be notified of new videos. See you!